This is a public awareness program organized by Columbia Asia Hospital, Sarjapur Road, as a part of Infection Control Week. Following strict infection control practices helps in reducing the healthcare costs along with reducing the length of stay of the patients. In our ICU at the entrance, we have hand rub and at each and every bed, there is hand rub is placed so that every staff member who examines or touches the patient use the hand rub before and after examining the patients. So we emphasize 100% compliance with all our staff members. Statistics show that something as simple as hand hygiene could have a huge impact on our health as well as that on the patients. WHO declares May 5th as the World Hand Hygiene Day. The WHO encourages patients and their relatives and their family members to follow and practice effective hand hygiene. What are the steps of hand wash? Wet hands with water. Apply enough soap to cover all hand surfaces. Rub hands palm to palm. Right palm over left dorsum with interlaced fingers and vice versa. Palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Backs of fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rotational rubbing of left thumb collapsed in right palm and vice versa. Rotational rubbing backwards and forwards with clasped fingers of right hand in the left palm and vice versa. Rinse hands with water. Dry hands thoroughly with a single-use towel. Now, we are mainly discussing about hand hygiene. So, hand hygiene itself in includes cleaning the hands, especially in the water, with so soap solution at least for first two minutes, so that the chance of infection spreading from your hands to the baby will be less. And intermittent use of hand sanitizers whenever you touch any other objects or the baby. In Colombia, Asia, we adhere to a very scrupulous practice of hygiene and infection control to ensure all our patients are safe and that we get them home as soon as possible. Whether it is hand hygiene, sterilization of devices, instruments and equipments, or deep cleaning of rooms, our health caregivers are regularly trained and monitored on safe delivery practices and also on educating our patients on how to ensure infection control post their discharge. Clean care for all. It's in our hands.